host, Michael Manning, and welcome to some pretty right to you. Um, p- welcome to the Pet Safe Parody Sports Channel. I'm joined today by me, Abdullah, the Yone one trick for Baron Baron Esports. <laughs> every every competitive team needs one. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we are here to bring you some ac- uh, actually some clash games. Starring the Penn State Baron esports team, specifically our league team, obviously. But um, with how this all works, at current we have to uh, wait till they hop Certainly. into the game proper to actually spectate them. But until then, um, kind of just considering um, what what do you expect to see, Abdullah? You you know a lot more of the actual players. Of the um, Baron League team than I do so far. Um, so, is there yeah. anything, any character specifically you can expect? You think we can expect um, at least? Yeah. So I know that it, depending on what roles they play. Um, here's the thing: they, I think they have two ADCs and two support support main. So this will be interesting. Normally. Uh, I know Karma's a good pick for them. I know Steve and Kyle love that pick. Uh, Kyle also loves Lulu in the support position. Now for ADC, um, we could potentially see a, maybe a Sivir as well paired up with there. That's that's another comfort pick of theirs. Mid, jungle top, I'm not really sure yet. We'll, we'll, we'll have to find out. But uh, besides that, yeah. Okay. That's what we're looking at so far. And And those picks are definitely just good right now because of the current state of league enchanters and that kind of more support focused, like backlining mage in the support role is very, very nice right now. Yes. Yes. And currently right now we are still in uh, currently still, they are still in champions like for clash that should take around, I would say two or three minutes until we're hopefully, hopefully in spectate. Oh, it just oh, shows that they are just in popped. game. And there we go. Like you saw. Yep, and we're now okay, in yep. spectator delay. Okay, now let's let's look at who we actually have. The Lulu, perfect call, like you said. We are seeing a Lulu. Yes, um, yeah, basically an enchanter. And the server is picked up there. There you go. All right, so hey, two for two. Um, set, that makes sense. Very safe top lane pick. Um, into Nar is gonna be a little annoying, but if he can if he can catch Nar when he's low on rage, I think he should be fine. Or but he comes right out of it. Oriana, from what I understand, is also pretty good right now. Yeah, yeah, Oriana is yeah that's a decent pick currently. Now we did mention that server pick. They did pick up the server. I, I I'm curious as what they banned, but yeah, it is fine. <laughs> now the thing that's um that could be troublesome um is that the set pick nar nar early on if he could get if he could kite out the set it could be really rough and nar sometimes has a better team fighting than set so we're gonna see how that's gonna pan out yeah Yeah. definitely that all that range he has uh one thing to note um with that set and the volibear if they play around topside, those two champions are good at an early game, so they could have uh, generate good pressure early on. Because you have a Volibear versus a Kha'Zix, normally the Volibear should win out early on. But if that Kha'Zix uh, starts assassinating, getting a lot of kills, it could get very scary. Mm-hmm. They have the Victor and Ezreal for scaling. And then they have the server and Oriana for scaling. So scaling wise, it's kind of even. So we're gonna just see how it pans out. I guess it, it's a pretty even draft, I would say. Absolutely. Yeah. This is this is all up to how both teams play this. Yeah, Baron's Baron's team fight should be very nice. Like I'm I'm looking at all this, and. Yeah, they as looks like the combo. Correctly. They do. Yeah. Set alt into Oriana combo, Volibear alt. You got you got Sivir just just, you know, accelerating the team the Volibear to go in. Mm-hmm. So yeah. 
we're gonna see that it is the early game is gonna be it could it could get a uh, really really uh devastating mm-hmm. depending on how aggressive I guess the junglers play. We'll, we'll right. see. Yeah, it looks like this red side they're leaning a little more on scaling. Ez is nice early, but Victor especially he needs to get the ball rolling a little bit. Yeah, we'll have to see. <clears throat> Right, finally I hope loading. They in. don't. I hope they don't have hard names to pronounce. That Fingers could crossed. be rough for me. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just stick to champions. Champion <laughs> names. <laughs> Safe bet. Three or four, five, six, seven. Ooh, I haven't. I've actually the, that clashy wise kind of clean. Yeah, are we synced up? By the way. Uh, yes, we are. Seventeen, eighteen, we are. Okay. Okay. Looks like you're like a second ahead of the stream proper, but that's fine. Okay. We should be fine. Absolutely. So uh, yeah, actually, nice. <laughs> Kha'Zix brought Ignite instead of Flash, and it looks like they, they are, this red side is floating for some kind of early invade, maybe? Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Okay, as much as I want to, I'm going to have to call Zack mid, mid, because Zack is just character, and he is not in the game right now, <laughs> so that gets a little <laughs> confusing. Yeah. That's fine. Baron gets a nice ward, top sided. Oh no! Actually, this <laughs> red team so, does actually have the early sweeper for it. This is gonna be. There's one thing that's interesting. Both junglers are both uh both starting top side, which means that around that three minute mark, they sh there should be a contest around that scuttle, in which Volibear should win. We'll mm -hmm. see how that pans out. Right. Besides that. However, if Red Side has enough prio, Nar might be able to walk down and help Kha'Zix out there. Yeah. Now you have two ranged uh, champions into one range into one melee um, for bot side. That could net prio for bot lane, but we'll see how that pans out. Take that a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, because again, this is a... At least draft wise seems to be very even for both teams. It's entirely up to how they both decide to play this. Yep. But currently Volibear is uh, clearing faster and the Kha'Zix importantly skipped golems. So he might want to just get his level th level 3 power spike faster. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a nice face breaker, but a level down uh, solo is going to be able to get a whole lot off that. Guess that was the point though, Nar felt comfortable enough knowing he had the level advantage that uh, Set couldn't do a whole lot in response. Yeah, early on, the Nar could just poke and harass. Ooh, that was that was a good bait by the Nautilus actually. He knew that Haxer was waiting with the spell shield for the hook, so he just Hooked a minion next to it, but baited it out. Yeah, that was nice. That was, that was clean. That's a massive wave about to crash into tower for solo. He's picking up some of it, and there are definitely worse characters to be into this. Uh, Set does have a baby version of Garen passive, so he is going to regen better than most. But it still hurts all this, all this CS he's missing. Yes, yes. Wow, actually, both, both jugglers, Volley full cleared, they're both scrambling for bot skill yeah. now. Wow, while Haxer left behind is, has to flash away, but does get Nautilus's Ignite and manage to survive. There's a lot of pings. <laughs> I, I might be on a slight delay. Could you share your screen? Ah, uh, yes, actually, we could do that. Ooh, nice flash by, um... Nice flash by Volley. One sec. 
Does it ever sync though? Okay. Yeah, can you see okay. the screen okay? Um, yes. Okay. Bit framey, okay. but I'm sure we can get into that. Okay, Here's first blood, oh, four mid. Oh, and Zed comes in. Manages to help them get a little bit of XP from that um that assist. That is a huge pickup for Oriana. When you get Oriana's early on, that it feels so good. Mm -hmm. You could just spike so much faster. Absolutely. Okay, actually, we're a little framey, so I'm gonna try this up real quick. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I just want to make sure it's not too bad for the, the stream. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to try just screen sharing proper. Okay, nope, it's still just okay. as framey, so let's go back. It's okay, I could, I could just uh, hop back into the spectate. No, it's it's okay. Okay, actually, no, it looks fine now. Good? Yeah, we're, okay. we're good, we're good. It's a little framey, but it's it's better than it was. <laughs> Apologies, folks. Um, till the school year start, or till the semester starts proper, which is only going to be a few weeks. Um, I at home on my laptop have a much lower production value than we will have. Uh, but get excited for that. <laughs> it's going to look better. I'm going to sound better. Okay. Okay, okay, that was great for Baron. Slight gold lead. Set's yeah, still playing so, safe. So, yeah, the main thing that happened there was that the Volibear was a level up, and because of that, although being down a flash, was able to just win the Skarmish because Volibear is just stronger early on. Right. Which now they are able to translate into a dragon because of that um, Pryo now. Not only that, but like you said, Oriana having that level up is very, very nice. And I mean, her ult is just huge. Just. Set wants to fight this so bad. <laughs> Solo wants yeah. to fight real bad, but he's, he's being smart. It, he's not just running in. He could fight as long as he doesn't get poked down too, too much. And right here? Oh, okay. Good try. Almost if he hit that, that would have been a big chuck. That but now, he, mid he misses that, he gets punished. Yeah. But again, and he has that reach in passive, so it's, it's not yeah. too bad. Yep. And once that Gnar bar fills up, it is really hard to fight as a set. Mm -hmm. Okay, skirmish B bot skirmish. side. Yeah, coming up by Neither jungler has ult yet. And that's the ignite down on Folly. But it's gone now. And Kha'Zix's pretty low, especially thanks to that Sky Splitter. There's a very whole lot of tension down here in bot lane, especially with Orianna. Walking in, she has the shockwave, but she's not popping it yet. Oh, he's on the Ez. Oh, gets both his flash and gets him through the the uh, the flux. That's a big, big play Absolutely. by Baron. Victor's gonna try and respond, but just not enough. It's too late. Yeah, the Oriana just rotating first was just massive. It, it yielded two fills. Fantastically done by Cheese. And Set's fine with backing here because he has TP. Yep. He still has his TP up and already used his, so. Yeah, and Oriana getting some of those kills, it just makes her Big. skill even faster. Yep, so, she's yeah. 3 0 right now. Yeah. She's and imagine if she had a dark harvest or something. Yeah, yeah. Imagine, if, yeah imagine if she had a dark seal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dark seal, my bad. Yeah. No, you're good, you're good. I mean, dark so harvest would good. also stat. Oh, but Nautilus yeah. tried to respond. Oh, flash. nice Rihanna dodge on the hook. Flashes through. Okay. Victor falls. Well good done flash. by Cheese. Fantastic dodge on the naughty hook. 
yeah, that Nautilus hook did also go a little wide, but it's okay. It happens. <laughs> now Nautilus has to awkwardly stand mid lane and get something out of it. Meanwhile, yeah, Lulu and uh, Sivir are going to try and get flash. something bought. Why, why does Lulu do so much damage sometimes? It's so weird. Lulu things. Oh, Lulu but things. Set it's actually weird. manages to catch Nara out. However, he's very high when it comes to... Yep, when it comes to rage, there's the Nara ult. However, not doing a whole lot of damage. Set's pretty beefy. Kha'Zix is coming in. He has ulted. Ooh. But Set jump. manages to get away. That's pretty big, actually. That's two ults down that you're not going to have to worry about. Can't dodge that one. Oh, but manages to get away. And wow. here comes Volley. Flash Try to in. pick up a double kill. Oh, the Stormbringer no comes flash. down to catch out Nautilus. Perfectly close. done by Baron. Sky Splitters shields a bunch of the damage from that tower, too. Cheese is playing out of his mind right now, and the rest of his team is right there to back him up. Yeah, and that just makes Baron just, they're so comfortable right now. 6-0, massive goal lead early on. <laughs> Sits, yeah. Set sitting topside like, yeah, so what if you're ahead? Look at the rest of the map. Hey, top laner, top <laughs> lane. Like, that's just a matchup. Your role, it just, Your that's just how it is. Your role is to not die. Yeah. Your role is to not let this thing become a problem. You're just up there, you know? <laughs> You're on an island. You try to make sure the other guy on the island doesn't develop nuclear weapons. Yeah. Doing yeah, a, he's just in survival doing a mode good for job now. saving the uh, the haymaker shield, all that grit in order. To oh no, Nautilus gets caught out again. Kha'Zix and Ez it moving help him. Actually no does manage to get away. Had the t uh, their teams back up. That was oh. a nice face breaker by Solo. He was he was obviously looking to set up the the showstopper. It looked like he was gonna try and alt Nar under his own tower, but Nar managed to hop on his head and just get away. And Mega Nar is coming out any second now. <clears throat> yeah, looking at looking at items, Baron. <laughs> Both their 3 0 members have their mythics already. Turbo kept <laughs> take on Volley and a Luton's Tempest for Oriana. Yeah, I would expect um, just a mall state here. Just farm a little bit, wait for the dragon. Dr dragon's up, so they're probably gonna try to get Pryo. Right. Try to do some ganks Which Baron set. absolutely seems to have. Kha'Zix is floating in top river, and Volley's going to check out his jungle in the meantime. Yeah, unlucky that he couldn't find anything. Oriana but... rotating bot instead of the dragon. The turbo kept take and the extra speed from Oriana is gonna let Volley dash in. Gives the kill yeah, to Cheese. Kill. Smart call. Yes, yes. You wanna get that Ori even that. more ahead if you can. Yes, of course. Victor's gonna try and get something out of this, stealing as many plates as he can. But Ori is moving back mid. Meanwhile, now, Kha'Zix what? and Nar did get to yoink um, Baron, but I I don't know if that's worth it. it. It all depends on how they use it. He's looking to use it in topside. Yeah, and Oriana just outplayed that Victor. Nicely done. Absolutely. Meanwhile, now... Ez is getting caught out too. Flashes by Delta. He gets away here. The Stormbringer comes out from... <laughs> Something so funny about seeing Volley just standing oh. there, hovering, letting his teammates get the kill. Set's trying to get something out of this. Flashes, showstopper on the Kha'Zix, but nothing to follow it up. Unlucky there. Very. Makes sense you want to get something out he of wanted, that, but probably should just... He wanted to defend the... Yeah, he wanted to defend the tower, but unfortunately he couldn't. It's already too far gone. Yeah. So this is a very good position for a blue team here. They have two dragons up there just gonna make that dragon uh, just a win con now. And with Oriana being so accelerated, 
it's gonna be really hard for Red Team to make a comeback. They're they are, they need to pull out of miracle here. Absolutely, they managed to shorten the gold gap a little bit with that first tower. However, they're gonna they're gonna need to make a whole lot more proactive plays like that, which I don't know they can with this volley and this. Uh, Oriana, especially since that was their first kill of the game, actually looking at it. Oh my gosh! One ability from Oriana on the Nautilus. And that's only 14 minutes in. Yeah. I imagine one more item is going to be half the HP. Calm before the storm. No real objectives up right now. Set it wants to fight. However, Nar's okay with it again because he has full rage. There's the ult. And he dodges the haymaker too. <laughs> ah, that that hurts a little bit, but again, the those are the only kills that uh Red Side's getting here. Yeah, that's their hope. Hopefully they could really pressure and put put pressure on that set, you know, just try to accelerate their Gnar. Hopefully they can make a comeback with Gnar, hopefully. We'll have to see. Fingers crossed. Looks like Sivir is rotating top, and I'm sure Volley will be as well. Yeah, they definitely want to defend this tier 2, but I would assume after he pushes this wave, he'll look for a reset and spend his gold. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he backs off. Actually, Volley's moving mid just to bully Victor a little bit more. Yeah. Or they're just, just clear the wave. Defense for now. <laughs> yeah, they're playing defense, make sure, making sure their towers are alive. Makes sense. No reason to fall to hubris. Yeah, currently they're just waiting for that dragon to spawn. <clears throat> Set's here to cover the tower, but he's got to be careful because Nar already has ult up again. There, Nar tries to ult him away from the tower. Set Ooh. ults him right back in. He takes a couple tower shots. Yeah, good all by uh, set, denying that uh, kill opportunity for Nar. He's covered it again. Ah, oh, the 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 fa uh, the face breaker barely Ooh. whips, and he only hits with the edge of uh, uh, haymaker. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's a rough matchup. Just range minion or range champions, they could sometimes bully set players. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's just rough. It's not too bad. He's not playing it too bad though. Only two deaths. Yeah, yeah. His goal is just survive and try not to die too many times. Got to be careful though, because yeah. almost looks like Nars letting him get in whenever he has high rage, because like Nars okay with that thing. Because then you have to fight Meganar. Yeah, exactly. Meanwhile, Volley's coming to help it out. I don't know if he knows or not that Kha'Zix is right there, but that was a good back off. Kha'Zix are looking to help Nar push top even more. Here for a quick assassination on set if he can get it, set being two levels down on Nar. So the true damage from Haymaker, but still it's getting chunked out by this Nar at this point. Meanwhile, the rest of Baron looks like they're setting up for, for uh, the dragon, which is up in less than a minute. Yeah, Team Blue most definitely wants to just set up that prio so they, they can basically get it for free. Absolutely. Well, well performed that, assassination on set. However, I feel like Baron's okay with that. Ori's back at. Yo, Ori's gonna TP to try and stop him. Could she, be risky. Yeah, very risky, especially with these two. She does have her ult, though. Yeah, her goal was just to clear those waves, and she manages to do yeah. that. Baron saves the tower, and they get third dragon. That's one more to soul. Yeah, the only unlucky thing is that it is cloud. You you would have much preferred like a uh, mountain or ocean, but right. you know cloud. Cloud isn't super know. impactful, but for certain characters like um like Sivir, it's like Volley, yeah. pretty okay with it. Yeah, yeah, it's really good on Sivir. Really good. She'll, yeah, she'll go stacking really Sivirol. fast. Yeah. <laughs> Volley showing up mid gets Victor to pop his flash.
uh, apologies, but fantastic Baron play by Penn State Baron. By by denying, um, well, by denying Red Team pretty much the only jungle advantage that they've really had, taking away that objective. That's just aside from having the Rift Herald, is denying that from Red side is the real impactful thing. Wow. <laughs> Nar wants to go without Silver. However, Set being there is enough to give him a panic ult, push them both away. I can't actually hear you, Abdullah. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about that. I was, oh, no, I was just doing something. Okay. I was just worried. Yeah. Your, <laughs> your, your icon was flashing, but no noise was coming out. Sorry about that, yeah. Alright, you're good. Now, one thing to know is that the gold has evened up, but now they do have three drag. Blue team does have the three dragons, which is crucial. But I think I don't think the dragon is gonna be the dragon soul. It's not gonna be the one con. I think whoever can scale more um, is probably gonna win this game. So we'll Abs see if no, absolutely. Good engage by Volley forces Narda Pop Zolt to throw him away. Yeah, looking at the items, um, it looks like like all of this gold that uh, Red Side has, evening up with Baron, is almost entirely consolidated into Nar. Yes. Like, because his his yeah. absolutely devastating farm, the lead he has. Other than that, the gold on Baron is much more evenly spread out. Yeah, the yeah the hope for red team is most definitely gonna be the Nar. He's mm -hmm. up two levels. Ooh, nice showstopper goes through the Nar out, forces Nar to flash, but he's mini Nar. Ooh, Solo doesn't have face breaker. Here comes Volley, getting another guy giving another kill on to cheese. Vel uh, uh, Kha'Zix coming out, trying to trying to shut down the Sivir, but all the peel from Lulu. Oh, Lulu does get caught out, but Sivir manages to get away. Yeah, it's a good play by Red Team. Finally getting something done on the bot side, which could... Um, hope Hopefully, Dragon is speed. up in a minute. Hopefully, that gives them a little bit of prio, but Lulu will be up, and now she has her Mythic, plus Volley getting... Yeah, getting cheese that extra kill onto Ezreal. Funnel all the gold and popping Rift Herald mid. This is gonna force Red Team to deal with this while the dragon's coming up. They're gonna have to make a choice. Especially getting that first tower before Rift Herald even charges. That opens up a big tempo for Blue Team. And it can translate it into dragon. Absolutely, and it looks like we have someone else hopping into the casting call. Can you introduce yourself? Hello again. My name is Luke. I'm back for a second day in a row. It's Luke again. Hell yeah. So, Luke, uh, if you have been keeping up, right now we are watching some Clash games featuring Penn State Baron. We're going to be hopping between two teams over these next few games, but right now this team... Starring Solo, Zach Mid, Cheese, Haxer, and Narwhale are absolutely devastating this. It show it shows in the kill count here. See it's a uh, twelve to five in Blue Side's favor. All three out of four dragons, and it looks like they're taking unfortunately it is Cloud Soul, but it's still, still that's uncontested a soul. A whole lot more move speed. And for some members of uh Baron's lineup, that's absolutely fine. That is absolutely huge, especially for the Sivir and what I and I believe the Volley Bear. Mm -hmm. Anything. Wow. As oh, you can and... see right here being yeah. able to <laughs> deny the blast cone. And getting Ori that uh that extra shutdown, funneling even more gold into her. Even wow. Yeah. Here's the thing. Eight and oh. All the gold that all the gold that uh, is keeping the teams tied for red side is consolidated entirely inside ah. of Nar. <laughs> it seems to be the CS difference between the set and the Nar here. Yes. 
Set's yes. been bullied a little bit, but he's doing a good job not dying looks, too much. Uh, looks about looks about like the story. I imagine he got camped by the Cossacks in the early game. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, but thanks to him playing pretty defensively, uh, only like, again, 25 minutes and only dying four times to um, the joint efforts of Nar and the Kha'Zix, the rest of his team is just so far ahead that they can take on Nar. Mm -hmm. I'm not entirely sure it matters. Exactly. Which is the, the, the pain of, of, of top lane. Even sometimes you play really well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, the win game, lose lane. Or win lane, lose game. The immortal words of Ruby. <laughs> she is no longer with... That sounds like she's dead. She graduated. That sounds like she's dead. <laughs> she graduated. <laughs> she is no longer playing for us. Ever. Seconding jumped by both Nautilus and Victor. Getting the Victor alt out. Can't really do a whole lot. And Nars looking to get that shutdown on Ori. That ult just might be able to. Ori, the shockwave running away. And here comes Volley. Look how fast he is at the dead man. Look at the speed on this bear. <laughs> oh, come on. What is one more? Has to take that kill just to ensure Ori's safety. Meanwhile, Red Side's going to try and take Baron. But they're, but they're not that fast with it. They don't take the right, bear they don't is coming. Very fast. The bear is coming, and it has Stormbringer. Here's the bear. <laughs> Just assassinate And it's a Kha'Zix. big bear. Oh boy. Oh no. Ez already popped his ult for the damage, and that's a Baron for Baron. That is a free Baron for Blue Side here. You see, that's easier, but I think the other one's funnier. Baron for Baron. It's just funnier. Bear. <laughs> the bear. You see, th that that visual is why old Udyr's movement speed stance was called bear stance, because of that. <laughs> also, Udyr, Udyr update Pog. Udyr is going to be good. He looks so cool. Meanwhile, in this game, Nar, again, the only member of Red Side to actually have a lot of pressure, trying to catch Set out. Meanwhile, Volley's going to take Bot Tower. <laughs> yeah, that Nar is their only hope. It really <laughs> is. That's a nice all. Only really manages to catch out Set, though. Oh. Meanwhile, the rest of Blue Side just going to pour on the damage. Sivir gets the kill. Flash got a victor. Cheese gets another one. Oh, they, oh, Kha'Zix managed to shut down Volley, but here's the rest of Blue Side. Huge shockwave. That might Absolutely be game. massive. Well, no, it's probably not yeah. game. But with with four members of Blue Side up with Baron buff, looking like a looking like a, a free inhibitor in the bot lane and possibly both Nexus towers. Yeah. And there's still 20 seconds. Oh, okay. Well, no. Here comes a minion wave. This might be game. Depending. Yeah, they like might be able game. to end here. I don't think Blue Side should get too greedy. However, they they have eight seconds till Victor's up. Oh, this is just this is game. Yeah, this is if game. they fo they focus down it's this tower, game. that is easy wow. peasy. Fantastic opening class showing from Blue from Penn State Baron. Wow, it's a big demolish. Huge. <laughs> Mamma mia. <laughs> That was a that was a fantastic game one. Luke joined and the sauce started flowing. <laughs> Bringer of the swows. <laughs> okay, so this is a bit. <laughs> this format is a bit interesting. So right now we need to looks like uh that team is hopped oh. right into um searching for another clash Sanders game yeah, we could actually to... i think they're scouting uh they're scouting yeah xander um has a game going right now that's only five minutes in so why don't we hop into that one <laughs> perfect timing get some get some on the fly stuff going on Yeah, folks, I don't expect a whole lot of us streaming clashes because it's a little, like, 
vague. A little, <laughs> little sketch. A little interesting. However, um, Xander thought it was a good idea to um, stop people from... <laughs> is, is, is their name to be determined? No, it's the other name. Orbit Simps <laughs> is the name it looks mm. like. <laughs> um okay, let's look at this team right now for Baron, who is now red side this game. Welcome uh to Okay, actually we do get to start this, uh, we do get to start at the beginning. Perfect. Um Okay, for Baron we have gotta rearrange these properly. Can you guys see the screen okay? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. We're good. We have uh, fiddlesticks, another siver. Another siver. Siver's very strong right now. Hexafish on his zir, which if you've been watching the scrimmages, uh, dangerous, dangerous. He loves, loves to zir. Looks like we've got uh, a trundle top, interesting, uh, and a Renata bot lane. Glacial augment Renata too. Ooh, then, that's uh, kind of saucy. Very. Then it. Or real. <laughs> See, playing the mind games immediately. That's that's what you come to expect. Yeah, that was plus twenty eight gold worth. <laughs> I and I call worth it worth every it time. Spook. Um, and then on red side we have a Sejuani top, another volley jungle, um, Yone mid, uh, Zareth support. Gotta rearrange that and a Jin. Uh, this is a pretty interesting comp. Now, so what? So early on, we should expect Volibear to hopefully try to get some early ganks. That, as we mentioned early on, Volibear's early game is really strong. Fiddlestick's early game, not so hot. So he just wants to just power. He wants it. Get yep. His, get his level six. Yep. With the, with the recent buffs, though, he is doing even more damage, especially with his ultimate, uh, should he be able to scale, so. Yes, yes. <clears throat> wow. That was a clean level 2 engage by, uh, by Red Side, yeah. Yone. Yeah. Normally, it should be very hard for the Yone to... Um, I guess poke out the Azir, and slowly the Azir will chip away at that Yone. Right. As you've seen, Hexfish is very, very good at that. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, wow, the tower takes shot. a tower shot, not even worth it. Yeah. Now, one thing that is interesting is that Yone went fleet work instead of uh, the lethal tempo. Which that is, is going to help. That's gonna help his laning phase a lot, just survive and just scale. But that later team fight, it could be rough. If He's gonna be a good tempo. chunk weaker than mm -hmm. if he had lethal tempo. You're right. Yep. Just because yeah. all that extra attack speed is so nice, especially on the wind brothers. On life steal champions, yeah. This Trundle matchup uh, on the top lane, Trundle does counter Sichuani. Um, the thing is, he has lethal tempo versus grab, so. I don't know what to expect there. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. And yeah. both junglers are in Bot River. Fiddle being a level up touch match just spook volley Fiddle off a little six. bit, especially since Baron's um, uh, bot side has Pryo. However, it Ix looks Loss like. Lost coming out. The stun lands. Is there Ignite comes through, forces the flash. There's heal too. Heal. That's three out of four sums, including both flashes gone on red side. Here comes Fiddle. Oh, the, the hook goes wide for Renata. Unlucky there. Hey, oh, Fiddle's stuck. He can't do nothing. Door stuck. Door <laughs> stuck. Vintage. <laughs> Meanwhile, um, Trundle's got to be careful. Ooh. That night, the especially with that this. volley rapidly approaching. He has the flash though. He has a flash oh, and he a... still has TP, so he might be coming from his back. And <gasps> ooh, there's the first blood Flashes for Hexafish. In. Fantastic knowledge knowing that auto would kill. I mean, he was pretty low, huge. but like, hey, huge. And the Yone does not have TP to catch this wave, so that's gonna be a big detriment to the Yone. Absolutely. 
as long as the wave does not freeze, which it could Meanwhile, be here. Volley's Ooh, trying, it looks like, to steal some farm. However, Fiddle doing so much damage, and here comes Trundle. Supposed to flash, probably. Do they get his flash out? The slow from the Q, though. Oh, Trundle Ooh, picks up a greedy. kill. Fantastic yeah. rotate by Felipe. Huge play. Huge play for Baron. And yeah, just the Volar Bear greeting out that flash just netted blue team a kill. And this is this is exactly what we saw last game, even though it was a different Baron team. Um both like they they know they if they get this lead early, they can run with it. Like yes. like Trundle might be down a level right now, but hey, there it is. And also Trundle's passive is so good at sustaining him when he's surrounded by minions. Yeah. <laughs> just gonna walk up and bite him. Yone could... Okay, he just eats back. Okay. Ice Pillar's big, but Sejuani managed to dash through it. One thing to note, dying early as Volar Bear, it's gonna suck. Absolutely. Game champion, and you just die to like a Fiddle and a Tronto. That could hurt the red team a lot. Two characters that are gonna scale like monsters. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So on the mini map, we can see that both bears started dragon, but blue however, team here comes blue side. Out. There's this flash, but it looks like that's gonna be another. That's actually gonna be a kill Huge. for Xander. Huge punish for um, seeing that he's done a dragon. That's just massive. Absolutely. And if they're able to get this dragon, which it looks like they are. Sivir doing a fantastic job playing safe, playing solo. Allows her support to move up and almost kills uh, Zareth with that, with that uh, spin. Yeah, Yoni's trying to get whatever yeah. he can off these trades. Has to pop all his abilities just to do some damage. Yeah. Surprisingly, the Yone does have a 10 CS lead, which is which is nice for the Yone. True. Yeah. Ever uh, the the XP he's missed from dying plus the kill and the assist for Azir definitely gives him a bit of a lead. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, there's a 400 gold lead in the mid lane. Yeah. For this year, so yeah. has been playing this matchup very, very well, keeping this CS nice and even. Nice and even. However, with this ult, Trundle subjugate just negates Sejuani's advantage from the fight. You are no longer tanky. I'm going to kill you. In fact, now I am tanky. Yeah, it's an interesting. You are tanky? Matchup. No, 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 no. <laughs> we are tanky. So as you can tell, Trundle wants to fight this. Doesn't know the volleys right there, but playing it very well, keeping. Now Trundle does have a ward. The, the wave is pushing to him, so he should be relatively safe. I think the red team might look for invade, or maybe start up. Okay, they're trying to fight the scuttle. Okay. Trying to get the scuttle might look towards uh, Rift Herald. Oh, so that's why it's stuck on Trundle. I accidentally had the camera focused on Trundle. <laughs> <laughs> Baron gets a play bot side. That's pretty good, pretty good. Really looks like red red side wants to do something up here top. Or or not. Yeah. Volley's walking away. <laughs> yeah, but again, that maybe wave not. state. Yeah, with that wave state it's just really Yeah, however, Yone is I guess just doing some inspection in uh Baron's top jungle. Yeah, I would assume he's trying to just try to get some vision in there, so he doesn't get. Since they probably expect that throw six is six, so red team should consider that a uh, possibility. They'd so... be wrong. He's seven. <laughs> that is true. That is very true. Yeah, hopefully we can see some really good ganks now from the fiddle six. He might be looking bot here. And Trundle playing it safe, but I feel like as soon as, yep, that's vision that a uh, fiddle is bought, Trundle might try and fight. However, Knight, uh, Red Side is moving. So is, so is it. Yeah, exactly. See, he he sees the he sees the volley is bought. Okay, we fight now. Ult's coming out from a bunch of members of Red Side, but the the crow storm coming out from Fiddle. Oh my God, the crow the crow storm killed Zara through the wall. That is 
And there's the Emperor there's Divide, you. making sure the Jin can't get away. Huge. Yeah, cool mechanics by the Azir there. Fantastic Simple. six and oh. Yeah, this is why we were saying earlier, we got, you gotta fear Hexafish's Azir. It's, it's, it's scary. It's He's just there all of a sudden. It is. Yeah. He's just there and then you're flying through the air. Yeah. You're, you're getting, He's there and you are not. You're getting tennis. <laughs> You're getting tennis volleyed by like seven sand dudes with shields. <laughs> and that, poor, poor Yone trying to wade through the wave, just getting gutted. Yeah, it so is a rough matchup. Damage. The poke. Meanwhile, Sejuani managed to survive Trundle's engage over Subjugate. He is coming up again soon. Now, Trundle could get ganked here. No vision. Could be. He... Here comes volley. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just the wave was not in a good position and Absolutely. it was chunked out. Yeah. Hexafish. That could. Playing it safe, knowing that Volvali is currently on uh, Rift Herald. Yeah. Yone is very was... dangerously low. Hexafish might go for something here. He could execute here, but Yone does have flash. He does. Yes. Meanwhile, Volley Same. is currently doing Rift. Yeah, that gank from top lane just opened up that rift. Absolutely. Ooh, this could be... Oh, good one by Yone. Ooh, Ooh, gets the shutdown on Hexafish thanks to the rotate by huge. Zareth. That's big. Oh, but Crowstorm's back up. Crowstorm coming back out here. Oh. Secures Fiddle another kill. Over. I love that. Go on. Oh, uh, nah, just that the that shutdown for Yone is going to be really big. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to mention that at the Fiddlesticks uh, proto belt there, it also canceled um, Yone's back time, and it gave uh, <laughs> I, think, I think it also gave it a good first strike bonus as well. Nice. Yeah. Curious, how much stacks does the Sichuani have on the grasp? Uh, we learned we we can't look at um at uh rune stacks. Sadly, we learned that yesterday. Oh. Uh, Philippe still hey. trying to fight. He hasn't used subjugate yet. Yeah. However, Volley is floating topside. He does have. Stormbringer, he might just try and shut down the turret. Yeah, they're trying to try to kill him and try to rift top and get that entire plate. Absolutely. Despite that shutdown, Azir is still just gutting him. Oh! Oh, oh my god. Okay, no. Yeah, there's the Sejuani. He flashes away. He actually manages flash. to survive. Really good flash. Wow, he, he was inches from <laughs> like noticing volley in that bush yeah honestly i'm kind of surprised the red side doesn't just pop it anyway oh but here comes xander gets the mm, gets the stopwatch from zareth and gets a gets a nice, nice double play. kill yeah, oh, the there's the Emperor's Divide, oh. just for safety's sake, it looks like. Yeah, Azir is shutting down the Yone. It's going pretty good for her, um, blue team. They, I swear, we are scripting these games because it was exactly like this. It's, it's exactly, game. like, not exactly. It's not a, well, oh. gold-wise, it's a massive lead, but it's not like... <laughs> We're not like seven and zero on two members of Baron. Meanwhile, the top laners own four. Yeah, it's, it's much more even. Speaking yeah. of, Volley does pop the rift behind topside and actually doesn't even try and help finish it off. Yeah. Ooh, there's the ice pillar. Stroy dashes through. It does manage to get away. So that's just some nice gold from the plates for both Sichuani and Volley. Oh no, the glacial though. Yone does no damage there. Yeah, it's a little rough for Yone for now. Until he gets his first item, it's gonna be rough. And it's gonna be Azir, very rough. Yeah, and since Azir has his first item, yeah, he's just gonna get chucked out easily. 
Oh my gosh. Fantastic reaction there from Renata. Like the just the, the, the sheer reaction time that as soon as Sichuani popped out of the bush, spinning around and queuing her just to save yourself. Very yeah. well done. Zareth Very pops well up tries to catch something, doesn't get anything out of it. And forces uh, Zareth's flash, which is crucial for that champion. Absolutely. Ooh, nice spell shield by uh, Sivir. And sidesteps the Yone dash. Meanwhile, Trundle's just going to keep pushing po pushing topside. Uh, Zareth could get ulted here. He has no flash. He could. I think and he's here, I don't even think he need no it flash. yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, despite despite proto belting, uh, Fiddle didn't even get an assist there. Ooh, and the rebound from the Q manages to catch yeah. Yone. Pretty good game so far. Oh, very good game. Looking like another Baron stomp here <laughs> with the eleven to eleven to two. By the, the way, with a five Baron five point seven k gold diff. You love to see it. <laughs> They do be out here, though. Yeah, it's a pretty clean game so far. So far. So yeah, far. Even the Trundle, he got camped, right? And he's um, up in CS. And he has a quality. CS lead, and... He is still... He is still being the bonk stick. <laughs> yeah. Every Smack single him. lane one. And Ooh, here comes the Crow out. Storm. Look at to pick up another... Oh! Gets the flash from uh, Jin. And oh, he's exhaust. just gonna run this this oh, poor man. this poor Zareth down. Zareth does step up because here comes Volley. However, here comes the oh, big bear. The, the fear. Very long range Zareth stun there though. Not sure if they can reach the bear. Gets, gets Volley's flash out too. Sejuani started rotating mid, but she's like, nah, nah, it's not worth it. I gotta stop this struggle for pushing. Not worth losing my entire tower. No. One thing to note, the longer the game goes, uh, the more useless Volbear comes. Mm -hmm. True, game, so he's not doing great already. Yeah. Subjugate. If he doesn't get an early game lead, it's rough. The subjugate from Trundle does force uh, the 20 to back off. How did it he heal be, it that should much, by still the be way? Noted. It was the. Uh, I believe. Oh, I, I, yeah, wait, I think Subjugate. Ah, does Lord Gromulus like... the third. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there's the Divine Sunder for Trundle, gonna make it even easier to fight that Sejuani. And he has TP up, so with with his team getting um getting the dragon, he's gonna TP straight up. So, oh, but Sejuani Ooh, does manage to burst down the goodbye, tower. Goodbye, TP. Over okay, this last time we were like, oh, Cloud Soul's pretty nice, but yeah, you wish for better. You wish for you know Infernal Soul. Infernal yeah. Soul or Hextech Soul. Much Absolutely. better. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, nice flash from Gen Renata. Flash. Good flash. Good flash by the Renata. Good bye. <laughs> Zir popping that uh popping that stopwatch for safety's sake. Volley did manage to burn down Shelly again. This is interesting. Despite this, um, Yeah, this is another game of all Red Side has is pressure top, and even then it's much less than the than last game. Oh absolutely. Yeah. All these abilities, all this stuff that Zareth's throwing out, it's really not doing anything. It's, it's just it's, ba tickling. it's barely even breaking her shield. The downside of Zareth's support in a losing lane. Oh my gosh, the Crow Ooh, Storm big coming Big Crow out. Storm. Oh, oh good. Goodbye, Safety Jin. Stopwatch. Goodbye, Sejuani, maybe? No, Sejuani gets out, but so does Fiddle. That's fine. That could have been really bad. That could have been a 700... That could have been a 1,000 gold for Sejuani. Good, good knowledge. Okay, no. Never mind. It wasn't even a, oh, I bought a stopwatch for safety's sake. He Fiddle has Zonyas. He's he is two That's items. That's how ahead he is. And, yeah. Okay, yeah. since one, he's left lane for too long. Trundle took tower. Yep. She left lane for 12 seconds. Goodbye, tower. <laughs> oh, Xander doing one of my favorite things on Fiddlesticks there. Taking blue buff and Gromp at the at same time. At the same time. time. The double zuck. The bear might be fast, but he could catch that delivery bike. 
Oh, we used the Yone on trying to keep blue side off the tower. Ult's coming out for most of Red's like gets Renata, but oh, oh my god, Fiddle's oh, doing fiddle so much healing. damage that he manages to live. Sivers looking just cutting through fucking uh, yeah, cutting through Whoa. Yone. And manages to get the kill on Zareth. Jin looking Ooh, to try it all, but she's Shelly dodging from the, the artillery tower. and fighting off Sichuani. That was beautiful. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I guess that's what happens when you're 6-0. Triple kill. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's what gets you to 6-0. Yeah, no, yeah. With, with the three kills you picked up from that. Man, fantastically played by, uh, by, uh, Father Wangler. <laughs> By Siver there. By Siver. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. Dragon shouldn't be up in too long. So, so, with both Rift Tails gone, it's just looking up and up more and more for Bear. Especially oh, no. since they've expanded their 5k gold lead to 8k. Uh, 9k yeah, almost. Uh, Almost 9k gold ahead, and and like uh, like Abdullah was saying, volley just falls off and off. Mm -hmm. The only yeah. one with any real pressure here is Sejuani. The fiddle six could be caught out. Ooh, fiddle, nice. Has this is the round of and the Zanya's butt. Surrounded. Yeah, cut out. Goes to Sejuani. I think he's just gone. Ooh, that, that is not who Redside wanted to give that to. No. However. When it comes to a 4v4 with everyone left here, I have faith. I have faith in Red Side. It is an side. absolute this slaughter is not for Blue Side fight. here. The only, the only yeah. hope that Red Side has at all is Sejuani CCing while the rest of Red does whatever damage they can. And no, that's. that's they, gonna uh, be... they do about a grand total of that's five. Gonna be there. Yeah. <laughs> about a grand total enough, enough to kill Fiddle, who, you know, is kind of squishy. Well, that's it. Uh, but that's it. Meanwhile, yeah. uh, Baron is gonna take Baron and probably run straight to Dragon, is my guess. Yeah, blue team. Blue yep, team get that so uncontested oh, soul get with that. the Baron Oh buff. no! Oh my Sarah, god! Disaster. You actually managed oh, to Oh, disaster! Steal it. Oh my god! No one warded that? No one had vision there? I wonder if that was a blind. I wonder. That was blind. Well, it was, yeah, no. I'm surprised Baron, nobody on Baron thought to throw wow. a ward up there, because, I mean, it's Zareth. That's one in a million. Yeah. Very well done by Red Side. That is the only thing keeping them in the game still. I don't think it's going to matter, but, man. I it, don't it's think overall, hurt. but at the moment, it's it's staunching the flow. Yeah, Zareth, <laughs> Zareth probably has the biggest ego right now. He's mm -hmm. probably... Chilling. Despite, oh, his head despite just being grew 0 and 5, sizes. despite being 0 and 5, it's everyone else's fault now. Who's because hey, he stole that. Though to be fair, 75% KP. True. <laughs> True. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, thanks to the Renata all <laughs> forces Sajoy to stand still. Here's here's Zareth oh. can earn his keep if he can land these all shots. Wow. I, th I think that was a net Where health gain for Baron because Sivir <laughs> spell shielded it. And Yone gets a big ult in, but doesn't manage uh, to kill anyone. Just doesn't so have the damage. Devastating yeah. for Baron. Far Red team is way too far behind. It is just weird. I, so we've been praising Hexafish properly for playing a fantastic mid. I don't think, like, over the last few days, we've been praising Philippe enough for playing a fantastic top lane. Even while weak side, like in a game like this, he he manages to stay even, so that as soon as he it's is back still to the team fight 50 phase, CS ahead. E exactly. Yeah. And and when he's not keeping it even through CS, he's devastating on like his Fiora. Yeah, he has some scary picks he could pull out. For this Very game, he probably wanted to counter pick the Sichuan. If I had to imagine. Everyone on Baron is playing fantastically. Like, just kudos to everyone. Yeah, for sure. It's just, sorry, Sivir, sorry, Renata. This is the first I'm seeing of you two, so I don't have any prior knowledge to praise you for. <laughs> He's doing the oh. cool tech again. 
He's doing it again. Let's go, baby. <laughs> and he levels up off of it Double again. Zuck. <laughs> you love to see it. I wonder what other champions could do that. I know Lilia can. Shaco maybe. Can now Kane can. Oh my gosh. Kane those, cannot. Those poor Krugs. Could. Kane Kane not. But um. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Look, Hexafish was saying the dumbest double contraction stuff in the chat. Saying stuff like that, I feel like it enables him to stop talking. Oh my gosh! Ooh, that is huge catch three on the fiddle six. ults on to fiddle. Necessary to shut him down. However, with that massive Renata ult, the rest of blue oh, team is just gonna shut it down. Here comes Goodbye, Wally with the Stormbreaker. Red. However, it doesn't matter how much extra health you have. Sivir's got the damage. Chindle. That brings the gold lead to 9.8k here. Truly Apple just team. insanity. Blue team should be able to hit. Yeah, and and I'll just go back to Yone blue dealing blue. no damage. Back to the lab again, y'all. Just yeah. cut your loss. 10k gold lead. There it is. <laughs> beautiful. Absolutely beauty of a game that you... Come fantastic you from Baron Baron. here. Oh no! Don't ego it, just end the game. <laughs> you have to ego it. You have to ego I it. I was gonna say, I Nine don't see five. a way of them losing that, however, I never want to risk it. I'm too paranoid. Yeah, for sure. However, if there's a game to ego, it's that one. <laughs> like. For sure. Okay, so currently the other team is 12 minutes into their game. So we're probably to hop onto their game in a tier. Uh, yeah, it looks like it because Xander's team is currently still um searching. So yeah. Oh um. Hmm. Hmm. I'm able to. I'm able to click spectate. You might have to restart your client. Uh, well, yeah. Let's try that. Real quick. Yeah, well, okay. And while, uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to reset my headset real quick. <laughs> All right. Brief yeah, that was just here. fantastically played by the entirety of Baron. Just not a single, every single member played, picked up their weight, and then some. Everyone was overperforming there. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <clears throat> All right, let's try this again. Yeah, there's the spectate button. Good call on reset and client. Yep. And with yep. that, let's hop right in <clears throat> to our uh, next the stream game. Has... We are just hot potatoing between both teams. Yeah. <laughs> Fast rotations. I will say that the Discord stream has ended here because you closed your client. Though oh. I am spectating in my own in my own client. Okay. Yeah, I, I am. Doing I just don't know where thing. you're at. Oh, you guys are spectating yeah. yourselves. Okay. Uh, yeah, wow. I okay. This at... game did not start at the beginning. Actually, we are ten minute. We are at ten minutes fifteen seconds. We are. You're at fifteen. Ten minutes yes. twenty seconds. Countdown. Countdown. Twenty three. Oh. Twenty four. Twenty five. Twenty six. Twenty seven. 11 minutes, 11.01. Okay, two, so you are slightly... Three. Oh, wait, wait. I think That's I could just jump. jump to the... Uh... You might be able to just fast fast forward it. Yes. Let's In fact, even I can. 11.37. Okay, okay, I'll do the same thing. 40, 41. All the way to the end. Okay, yep. 44... Yep. Yep, all right. 47, looks like, 48, Looks like we 49. are all yeah, synced up good. now. Perfect. Sorry, good. folks. That was some personal... Uh, 
uh, on the ground issues. The stream should be playing this absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, but so let's let's pick up our bearings and see what's going. What are our bearings okay. and see what's going on right now? Um, our Baron dings. Uh, it looks like <laughs> Baron looks is like red we're losing. Game, and <laughs> oh yeah, is slightly yeah, behind. So... Here's the difference though. When we're losing, it's not by that much. It's by 2k gold and 3 kills and that's it. And here comes Cheese to steal the dragon. It's just whacking him. Easy, breezy, Easy dragon beautiful. Dragon. Even Cover, then, girl. look at that. We have dragon advantage. We still are keeping up with objectives. Okay, first things first. Um, this is a very interesting draft by both teams, honestly, here. Yo, the guy named um, Zach Mid is playing Zach Mid. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Absolutely now, bananas. It doesn't look like it's going great, <laughs> to be fair. Yeah. Wow, uh, and here he, he must... comes to shut me up. Um, fantastic engagement with the Syndra, however, has to back off. Because that Syndra is 6-0, and, oh, and she has the delete button. Meanwhile, the rest of Baron is just going to take bot turret, that being the first one. Ooh, he Zach looking in trouble here, getting run down by this Darius, but he manages the Syndra to get away. all comes out, but they have to. Ooh, going oh, back in, no. popping blocks. Oh, looks like so it's just the greedy. end here. However, Red the rest Baron of the team coming is back here in, to though, cover with a triple gank. We protect our own. And he flies in. Zach's in. Oh, here he baby. comes. Huge catches. The shutdown. Oh, Jana, oh Jana gets the, the hundred k, one thousand gold shutdown. With the flying koi fish of destiny. <laughs> and just like that, Team Red got a two. And just like that, gold. look at us. Usually, you hear the the casters are bad luck charms. I think we're. I think Baird plays better when we're watching. Let's look at that. Yeah, yeah. Good luck charm. We show up and they turn it around. That was fantastically played, though. Can't Great. make diamonds without pressure, and we bring the pressure. <laughs> Fantastic team-wide rotation for Baron. Like, Absolutely. getting that nice... However, if only that shutdown could have gone to anyone else, but still, that's a shutdown. But we'll take it, because that's, that's Moonstone 000... and Forbidden Idol. Exactly. Oh! Um... Looking like Solo Strikes is having a bit of technical okay. difficulty he's, here. He's back. Yeah, I think they probably had a pause, or maybe not. I don't know, because it says he reconnected, but he's... Okay, he's walking back. That sucks, though. He was okay. halfway to tower, and Darius is right there with a pretty big wave. Oh, no, Darius is Full actually going to walk away. Looks like he's going to try and go for this Zack mid again. With the wave evening out here, looks like Syndra might try to just auto the wave. Yep. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it looks like Blue Side's gonna take post Megalone. <laughs> like Blue Side might try and take some notes from Baron and um, go for some kind of big engage mid. Yeah. So the crucial thing to note is that Red Team has the two dragons, so they're, they want. They really want this third dragon, which is going to spawn in two minutes. So we should see a big fight happening there. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And despite what we're seeing, Baron's bot lane is playing fantastically. 4-0 uh, and o on Jin. Oh, Ooh, looking like a big top lane nice. fight going yeah, on nice here. Darius, Darius backing away from the Aatrox ult. Oh Not gosh, sure Aatrox about that so flash for the third Q. I understand uh -oh. Nunu it, coming like, in top lane. wise but here comes Nunu. Just walk right past him, though. <laughs> Very well done. Trundle's on it's his way. Flash. You just need to survive it. There's the absolute Ooh, zero did from not Nunu. quite put mm, that first Q no. in the right spot. Yeah. Dang, that sucks. Yeah, the Darius just forced out <laughs> the flash. <laughs> Looking like they're However, just gonna... Hey, guys. Oh. Oh, no. Here's the rest of Baron. The bush gremlins have struck again. We protect beautiful. our own, and if we don't, we avenge them. <laughs> yeah, that was a beautiful punish by Baron. Fantastic. Beautiful bunch of bush cookies uh, there. <laughs> <laughs> gotta do what you got. Giving, giving. <laughs> the, the trees are cute. speaking Wookie. <laughs> uh, me trees are speaking four. <laughs> Giving Jin his fifth kill. 
We How broke. unfitting. <laughs> Nunu's name is killing me. I'm just reading it over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> I am a child. <laughs> oh no. Is Zach Flash able to E away Zach. from this? Or did he already I use it? He there he goes. Oh, oh, he flashes Flash. away. You just trundle to cover him. I don't even know. Flash goes coming it... from that from that Darius. I don't though, even know when it comes to Zach. when it comes to Darius. Like like getting any kill is great, but I don't know if flashing for the O4 Zach is worth it. Probably not. Like that's not that much gold. In my professional three game Darius opinion, <laughs> not worth. It. It's like I mean, <laughs> I through my five game Darius opinion, it's just bloodlust. No, I feel it. Like as soon as you give five stacks, you're like, I must murder. Must yeah. dunk. <laughs> okay, so the dragon has spawned, so really... <laughs> both teams should be coming here to fight this. Absolutely. Darius is going to use that. Blue team starting the dragon, but they have vision on Trundle needing to push from mid. Blue side is going to push Red team split here, but it looks like they're Danny just using it to tough. pinch off red blue team. Uh, yeah, here comes the Nunu all coming out, but it's blocked by the Rakan stun. With a 4v5, this absolutely looks like it's going to be a barren fight. Aatrox is willing to throw his life away for the team. All that life steal. Syndra gets the shutdown on Janna, though. That's a lot of gold. That is a huge win for a blue team, despite it being a 4v5. Absolutely, oh. especially, oh, Trundle might just... Ooh, but the big catch on this Syndra here, it spells fourth Ooh, shot. Fantastically. Huge. Oh, and it looks like it's about to get yet another... Ooh. Maybe just There's the auto key this time. Around. Someone's got to go and meet Darius, though, because he just took two towers yeah. to uplane. Don't worry, the Janna's on it. <laughs> She's got as much damage as she can muster. She has the damage. Seems of to a, do the job of, though, because he's leaving tower, knowing that Aatrox and Zach are on the way. I was just say that that reads more to me like fear of the rest of the team behind the, the uh. And sometimes bluffing that is all you need, because I've seen it happen. Absolutely. I wonder how that team fight would have panned out if Darius was able to rotate. I think rotate blue team may have been able to turn that around. Yeah. Old oh, blocking the Darius oh. recall here. Maybe Ambitious from the Zack. No he like he he's has his just trying to CC him so Aatrox can come in and say, get the kill he there. He has his passive up. He knows Aatrox is on the way. Oh, I didn't even see good that he had pick. blobs. Good pick, good pick. Very good pick. Helps ex get this Aatrox back on track here. Yo. He's down by about a kill and 30 CS now. Thank rather than... Two kills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that Zach, he's just purely just there to CC. And oh, that's him. sick. He um, is very much a CC bot. Okay, for this so this game. is this is yes. very nice. Uh, actually, just got a little tip from um, Xander. Uh, well played, by the way, Xander. Um, that you guys could try this too. If you hit Control Shift and Z, um, I've been doing that. Yeah, you can scroll. You can zoom out more. Yeah, and that's very nice. Yeah. And like nothing's really happening on the map. Good. <laughs> Zach is trying here. I did not know you could do that. Neither did I. Hold up. Who gets I Cyrus delete key that. and here comes <laughs> he gets the Man, kill on it. Zach deletes the set as a syndrome. Huge pick again. Flubber starring it Robin Williams really managed to turn it around. <laughs> Flubber yeah. starring Robin Williams. <laughs> it doesn't work as a call out, but it's funny. General just to secure the kill on that uh Jinx. Yeah, blue team just keeps getting caught out. The Darius, the top. And it looks like, like, looks like they, they, they have take... not been a full team since we joined this game. No, yet. they haven't. They've been down one Red each team. time. Baron has finally yeah. taken a gold Baron. lead here. And they're gonna They've managed to maintain it rather, despite top lane being down CS and mid, top lane being down 40 CS and mid lane being down 70. Meanwhile, Baron, yeah, they're gonna take that. Though, to be fair, the gold is where it matters, with being on the Trundle and the Jin. Absolutely. The Aido Jin is really, really hard to control. Is really, really hard to control without getting any CC on him, because he'll just wait for the Rakan to make his, what's it called, grand entrance. Yeah. Uh, are you talking about his alt? His W. He'll oh, wait for yeah, the, the W alt. He'll just wait out the charm, and then once Rakan is back into his team, that's when Jin's gonna start laying down this fire. 
Rakan's ult has like a really sick name. It's called like the quickening or something. Like the quickness. Uh, the He's quickness. getting down with there the quickness. You go. Yeah. Way oh, too. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Way too cool for I'm so pretty that I'm gonna run at you and you're gonna <laughs> fall in love. Blue tower here. Ooh, that kind oh my gosh, the out. root onto that Nunu. -nu. The CC chain from the oh dear. Flash, no. flash pull from the nice, from the nice. Darius for the Jin, but a counter flash coming out. Now the Jin all coming down for the huge. Oh dear! Just the rest of Barrett comes in. Zach for another case. Of his role here by being just a big old distraction. The ball. fantastic team fight from Baron. <laughs> Absolutely okay. great pincer maneuver there. That was a little knowing ambitious. that Darius had no escape, being able to commit to that. Woo! Nunu's like, oh, wow. don't worry, guys. I'll just push top. Oh, no. Five of them are at our mid tower with Baron buff. Uh, I'm coming. Huh. Oh, dear. Hmm. Ooh, dear. They've got a problem, and its name is Flubber. <laughs> Starring, Starring Robin, Robin Williams. Williams. <laughs> I'm so glad somebody else finally thinks that bit's funny. I've been saying that bit for years about, like, goop <laughs> characters, and nobody thought it's funny. Ooh, oh, Jin no, potentially caught out here, but he's got the Gale There's... Force and the Janna Shield. See you later, Alligator. Another case of just fantastic appeal by Baron and awareness. Save... Uh, saving that Gale Force for that moment was fantastic. Ooh, Absolutely. Here's a Hex Soul. Hex Soul point coming up for Baron in 40 seconds. Yep, Hex Dex Soul is best so actually the highest win rate dragon soul in the game for a long time now well it, it does extra damage it slows it chains and it chains it does the chains like, the chain you auto one huge. you auto one guy and the entire team is slowed that's the neat part it doesn't have to be an auto oh right no you could use it on any ability even like the potential for it's nuts and nunu is in top jungle like, like oh, he's on dear. the way. That is a he's huge fast, misposition from him. But he's not he's faster fast, than But he's not Trundle. Sonic fast. No. That was a they massive just, misplay. They were just late. Yeah, they were just late. That's why it's important to research early. Oh my gosh, here comes Zack. As Trundle comes followed up. And Jin is set up with the artillery fire. Oh my gosh, so much damage. Yeah, that might be it for Blue Yeah, team. that looks like it might just be game. We are getting some fantastic show. Yeah, look, from what we've seen, the only people that can keep up with Baron are other Baron players. Are so. other Baron players. <laughs> it's looking pretty good. <laughs> Darius just walking back and forth. Oh, and goodbye, Syndra. There she Step goes. up and... Pro okay, yeah, auto the tower was probably safe to kill. Uh, yeah, it's probably safe to kill Darius before he manages to get Noxie and Might up, just because that could be scary. And it doesn't matter though, because Jin has a gun, and that's game. <laughs> Turns out, comeback. man with gun, very strong. <laughs> that was a pretty good comeback, despite the Sivir or the Syndra being 6 0. Oh. Mm hmm. Yeah. The constantly getting caught out there by a red team really I just wanna, ruined it for him. I want a version of the Indiana Jones scene, but with Darius like spitting his axe and Jin just shooting him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> Alright, who's playing currently? So, currently, the other team is in Champion Select. Okay, so we, sadly, we do have to wait a little bit. Because, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're, it looks like we're going to be hopping into a uh, a Xander team game. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so, that was... So... I guess that current team is currently 2-0, which is really nice. They have one more game to see if they're uh, going to be champions for tonight uh, tonight's Clash. So that should be is, exciting to is watch. Is that how Clash works? 
Um, I think you play, there's, I think it's eight teams. Well, it depends on what, which clash it is. There is some cases where it's 16, uh, 16 bracket system. I'm not sure. Okay. Seems legit. <laughs> I, I'd believe it. I'd believe it. Yeah, that's how it is normally. Um, yeah. Okay, so I wonder if we're going to see, um, if we're just going by the same team that, uh, the same folks that were on Sanders' team, which would be like um, Xander, Philippe, Hexafish. I wonder how many repeat offenders we're going to see. I wonder if we're going to see that uh, that Fiddle again, that Azir. Maybe yeah. Maybe Trundle. I expect the Fiddlesticks to get banned out by the other team, seeing that it performed really good the previous game. Mm -hmm. So... We'll just have to see. That's it. right. Op.gg yeah. does exist. <laughs> yes, and it is pretty powerful in uh, Clash. <clears throat> yeah. Also, for the there's a couple of different, um, I guess, commands or like uh, shortcuts that you could do for the spectate. Like if you click I. You could show the dragon, the dragon baron cooldowns, or yeah, the uh, the spawn times for them if you want. Um, I know there's a way to hide that timeline as well. Okay. Interesting. Thank you. Yeah. If only, yeah. if only the game just like told you when you booted it up. I know. <laughs> if I only know. these weren't all like secret codes. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, um, yeah, you could also hit you to hide that timeline, just okay. you know. Nice. Yeah. I think the best settings are, you know, just zoom out just so you could see most of the team um, have the dragon and baron timers and just hide that timeline. That matches up the, like, the LCS um, spectate mode, so, yeah. Hmm. Huh. <clears throat> hmm. Lake should be finished up any moment now. Yeah. Fortunately, we can't see the draft <laughs> for Clash. We can make assumptions, though, once we see all the characters. Yeah. Oh, also, yeah, that Sivir went a 16 0 and 8 the previous game. Hachi machi. And the Renata had a. There was 29 kills by blue team. Uh, Renata had 23 assists, one death, and zero kills. So yeah. Woof. They might. The enemy team might be banning out the bot lane. Yeah, I could see that. If you think it's a safe call. Yeah. Ooh, I have a question. 
What is your question? <laughs> what if I did not make it to the stream on time? Oh, if you <laughs> if you missed any of the stream, uh, you didn't make it on time. You can catch um, you can catch all our uh, if you missed it by just a few days, you can catch the vods on the Twitch. But for permanent storage, you can look on the Penn State Baron Esports YouTube channel, which all the oh, all wow. the vods will be <laughs> housed. I did um, not know that. Apparently. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> spectate because they're in the game. Uh, if you um want to never miss a game and you want to keep updated and know when our stuff comes, uh, you could follow our Twitch and... It, or, not Twitch. You can follow our Twitch. Uh, you can follow our Twitter and our Instagram under the same name. <laughs> You're right. I should just... Yes. I... Always plug. <laughs> plug. Of course. Of Always. Course. We do see the repeat of the, uh, of the Fiddlesticks and the Azir here. And the Trundle. And the Trundle. Yeah, it looks like uh hey, yo Azir? I cannot believe. Well. Like yeah, the bot lane was Ooh, looking nuts, like it's Azir like... versus a Kali though. Hmm. So we I did... suspect We did see that in a scrimmage, um between Hexafish and our very own Swifty. Um Now I... Akali I could explain this matchup better, I think. Yeah. So this matchup uh, Azir early on is going to be able to just punish and poke the uh, Akali, but once Akali hits six, Azir needs to be a little bit play a little bit more safe. With with Akali's ult and his and and her E, Azir could get really punished if if he um gets out of position. So we'll see how that pans out early game. Akali is very Akali is the strongest in mid game. So around that eleven level eleven mark, she could um, hopefully open up kills. If not, it could look really low. If it, go, if it goes late game, um, I'm not sure which team wins late game because Lilia and Sivir is really good late game, and paired with a Yumi late game, it's pretty nice. I can definitely um, see that. Yeah. So we have an Olaf versus Trundle. I, I think the Olaf might have a slight advantage, but I'm not really too sure about that matchup there. Lilia versus Fiddlesix. Lilia should be trying to look for invades early on, potentially, to just slow down uh, the victor hitting that level 6 mark. And, yeah, and for bot lane, I, I suspect just a farm lane there isn't really like engage it's just two enchanters silver has the e the twitch has a q so it's really hard to uh, i guess punish and gank so we'll see how uh, that turns out i i suspect a very farm heavy game this game okay but who knows who knows here we who are knows? loading into the game proper here it is the sunset <laughs> Let's count it down, buddy. Okay, the Akali has Ignite and Flash. So he might be... We'll see how that goes. That We've seen that Ignite, he might try to play aggressive. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was going to say, that seems like a very aggressive Akali. Yeah, and he has Electrocute, which um, is more burst heavy instead of the Conqueror, mm -hmm. which is more... Just, just able to deal more damage over a longer period of time but we'll see if it uh yeah she's it. not looking to stay in the fight long and heal off of it she's looking to just kill you first yeah. she doesn't looking want to there to be path. a fight yeah <laughs> <clears throat> okay if you hit i yeah no, I, i'm looking on. at it that's yeah, really? the objective timers. Time. Yeah, then click you, zoom out, and you're chill. We're chill. Also, are we synced up? I'm at 45, 46, 47, yep, 48. I'm yeah. You guys are like a second ahead of me, but that's fine. I'll pause for a sec. No, no, you're good. My, my, uh, like I said earlier, um, production value and performance will improve vastly when actually on campus. Right now, I'm on my HP laptop from three years ago. 
Uh, <laughs> Classic. Yeah, we have less than 20 days, right? We have 15 yeah. days left. Plus, I'm moving in the 18th. Ah, because, um, fun time. I'm moving in the 14th. Nice. Oh. Why? Okay. I'm an RA. Oh, nice. I'm moving in the 18th nice. uh, because I got an IT consultation job, and they need people for the uh, freshman move-in. <laughs> makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, so things to note. Um, Lily is starting Raptors instead of getting a leash, and Fiddlesticks is doing the... Ooh. He's doing the patented... Oh, that was a glacial. That could have been a good early trade, I think. <laughs> Perfect yeah. emote Ooh. from the Yumi, though. Just the uh. uh. Yeah, so that Fiddlestick is trying to clear Wolves and Blue Buff at the same time. Beauty of yep. Beauty this of is the This is a very similar clear to what I oh. do. Uh, I will end up smiting one of them usually, though. Despite yeah. Yumi, Yumi doing that smart thing where it's like, oh, my health doesn't matter, so I'll just trade with you a little bit early. Uh, Twitch doing some serious damage. Yeah, huge trade. She will not be out. able to do that very much. No. Oh, uh, that it won't die thing means that if 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 Fiddle had not been sucking, he would have died there, apparently, to the jungle minions. <laughs> That's what that eternal means. It's fatal damage prevented from harvest. Hmm. Interesting. I just thought that was funny. <laughs> Seeing that means that <laughs> Xander almost died. Trundle has to play a little safe because Olaf is also fantastic at fighting early. Yeah, Olaf loves to fight early. Although Trundle stealing his uh his AD might make that a little bit harder. Yeah, for sure. It's an interesting matchup. I don't really know who wins. Yeah. And I'm I'm too scared to talk about top lane matchups anymore, because last time I talked about any kind of top lane matchup, um, confidently I was completely wrong both times. It's okay, that's why you got me here. <laughs> okay, we might see a gank top here. Yeah, actually, look at top. Um, oh, just all Oh my god, carries. wait. Oh, I thought. Okay, Um, for a second, I thought Xander was pretending to be a effigy. Um, no. Ooh, that's gonna suck. A little bit. Uh, oh, there's the exhaust Ooh. coming out, but he does have cleanse. Counters so exhaust. Cleanse? Cleanse for exhaust and ignite. Pretty worth. You cannot direct. Ooh, Ooh, has to heal so Good that Janna doesn't die there. Ooh. Oh yeah, no Trundle wins. Trundle wins this. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be very close. close. It's gonna be very close Ooh, here. Yaxod kind of huge. Forces the flash and his uh. His reckless, his reckless swing yeah. doesn't Trundle finish him. He does have pots though. Uh, yeah. Mm, get, getting hit by that Q, it's gonna suck. Yeah. As long as, uh, as long as minions die near Trundle though, he will get health back. But he's just gonna play it safe. He has TP. Uh, what's yeah. uh, Olaf doesn't. So just back for safety. Get some items and TP yeah. back. And this mid, it just has. It has been just a farm lane, which is really good for the Akali. Five CS up, that is huge. And once once she hits six, and with Azir being low on mana, that could be trouble for Azir. Very Nazir. big. She's done a very good job not getting, uh... Let's see. Not getting yeah, bumped too much. So she's pretty healthy. She, she's at 75% XP. Might hit six here. We'll have to see. Probably is going to clear and reset if I had to guess. Probably just making sure that the Zier can't freeze. Just walking up. Zier is poking as much as he can. Yeah. And Fiddle he is, is right there, him. but he, he is only five as well. Yeah. Yeah, Fiddle six just wants to power farm, power farm until six. Exactly. He really needs that ultimate to be, well, to really just to be a champion. Right. Yeah. But when he is, he's a very good champion. Both mid laners hit six. Ah, sorry. Yeah. The one thing that sucks for the Azir is that he has no mana. 
Yeah. He might be forced to TP mm -hmm. back. We'll have to see. He does have that option, though. And it's definitely the safer one. Yeah, Especially sure. with fiddle backing. And Lilia <laughs> is floating top. Looks like she might try and go for something on Trundle. Though he just hit six. Yeah. Trundle's under tower. I'd be very surprised okay. if he actually went could. Azir might get all in here. Az Akali has a free, so. Bot lane. Yeah, okay. no, it looks like Azir is going to make the safe call and just back. Meanwhile, in bot, uh, fight. Started brewing, but nothing really came of it. Fiddle's floating his way down there. Yeah, Olaf had a good trade on to that trundle, which could open up more trading. Open oh, all in. Nice axe. There's the all ghost. And since he has the uh, Undying Rage, actually, Trundle managed to get away there because of his own flash and the subjugate giving him some extra health there. Yeah, beauty of flash. Hotline has been going heavy, they're just constantly trading and trading. But constantly Twitch fighting, but nobody's died. Yeah. And for Twitch has a very sizable lead right now. Yeah, which is really nice. The order is given. Massive amount of pings coming on the fiddle six by blue team. So they suspect something, so they're probably gonna play safe. Let's see if Fiddle Snake oh, can find something here. Wonder if Janna might try and bait. Um. Okay. Here's the fight. That's oh. the Conquer already. Oh. First blood finally comes down onto Olaf. Here Better comes Lilia. Yeah. It's gonna be oh, two gonna plates be... for Olaf top. That is painful. That is. Yes. Very bad for Trundle here. Oh, Big here. ult from the Fiddle comes forcing the flash Fiddle. Oh, Lilia oh, sleep. but here's oh, Lilia. My. Twitch manages to cleanse it, but Phil doesn't have that luxury. Twitch gets ignited too. Flashes away. Oh, oh no. Gets me back. Fiddle Jeez. does get. Uh, Fiddle Lilia gets has no mana. Zipper. And Lilia has no mana, Is yeah. Oh, the healing from Harvest! Should be a kill. Come on, Fiddle, you can do it! That's two kills for Fiddle! Does yeah, I mean, the, the it, 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 it's the cat. The Un unless... Yeah. Smite her like a Three minion! Kills. <laughs> Three kills for the Smite Fiddle. Smite her six. like the animal she is. That is that literally... Is that is massive. For... for, uh, for Red Side. Sadly... Pretty low, low on mana. Can't really translate that directly into a dragon, but uh, no reason that is gonna lead to pull items. Oh, might actually try to by ta by doing the cool thing and taking blue and grump at the same and time. And doing them both. It's so broken. One percent of champions are able to do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Probably could be more. Yeah, so far mid mid has been just a long. Oh state. wait, there's Lilia doing the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> we did mention that earlier, right? Yeah, we Both did. Of uh, that was that was one yeah. of the people you guys said could also do it. Yeah, it's broken. You clear faster, you know, <laughs> get your levels. Hey, there's there's a yeah. hundred forty something characters. You gotta have some kind of variance. Yeah, for sure. Bro, oh my gosh. Vision dominance by red side bot lane until just a second ago every bush was warded <laughs> This matchup is gonna get more and more rough for for the trundle yeah, I if, if he can't manage to make some kind of big play here. He's 30 CS down. That's very rough Yeah, yeah. Fiddle six could potentially look up there to stabilize it. We'll have to see Yeah, so far, five kills in ten minutes. For the most part, besides some trading and some really good play, well, I, um, it's just been a farm game. Yeah, pretty mm -hmm. pretty slow. Very slow yeah. pace here, though. I suspect it's not in not too long. We'll see the pace yeah. pick up. As Fiddle got his rocket first belt. item power spikes. 
which is huge. First mythic comes down on Fiddle. No surprise with that triple kill. Yeah. Ooh, nice trade by Trundle. Yeah. Oof, Twitch could be caught out here. He could, but Janna no and flash. Fiddler on the way. He doesn't have- Oh! oh it, he was the bait! Baited good, it's amazing a, bait, amazing. A fantastically dead. Baited me. Yeah, exa yeah exactly. Talk about a mouse trap. The mouse was the trap. Yeah. <laughs> nice dodge on the bowling ball. Yeah, this matchup the top lane, the Olaf can just out sustain the trundle, so it's a little rough for him. Very. But he's he's again, Philippe, even when playing behind or even, he's keeping it up. Yeah. Like he, he is down on CS, but he's not he's not taking bad trades. He's making sure to play safe where he needs to. Yeah. Okay, Lilian Lily is coming in. in. No, but, oh my gosh, Blue Side gets killed. This is looking like bad things Red's like the dragon. Akali's looking to try and... Oh, Big she Empire's missed her ult on out. Fiddle! Big Empire's Divide. That's another kill for Fiddle. Azir's getting some some help too with these assists. Fish. Akali. Akali. Looks like Akali's just gonna execute, or she's just trying to take this wave. Execute. Yeah. Nicely done. Yeah. Fantastic fight by uh by Baron. Yeah. Here's the issue. Last time, um, last time we saw Xander playing Fiddle, um, the enemy team at least had like. They had a window you could see them killing him just because of overwhelming CC with Sichuani with Volibear. They had options. Right here on this team, the only real CC is like Yumi ult and Lilia ult. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unless they land they those, there's nothing really stopping Fiddle. Yeah. Oh, two tower oh, shots. Oh, that's a huge pillar. <gasps> oh, and there's Ouch. another tower shot. Oh. Uh, there he's fantastically played by Philippe. Just, just on the edge of that third tower shot play Huge. off the series of misplays from Olaf t taking three tower shots that's rough yeah, that's gonna feel bad for him gets getting he's, stuck there by the pillar that's a tilt. Oh, that's a like, little tilt greedy that's tilt. Oh, there's the Yumi up and here comes fiddle that's why it's so <laughs> oh, boy. I'll be right yeah, like if you can't if you can't track the fiddle sticks it's Don't. just a nightmare. It's just like, when do you ever take a fight? <laughs> exactly. You yeah, always have to be thinking, thinking about the fiddle six, or that happens. And as you can see, as on the mini mini map, look at red team's vision, and because of that, that just opens up that that those two kill opportunity, beautifully played by red team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Blue side does manage to get a uh, rift herald. Right? Did I cut out there? Uh, I didn't. I didn't think you did. Okay. It's like Lily is thinking about popping that rift herald mid after a gank onto Azir. However, Azir is doing a Hexfish doing a fantastic job burning down. Ooh, nice Emperor's divide. Big fight Manages top to like cancel Trundle the out. Big fight to top just, and oh, because so of that man. misplay, Trundle is just so divine. like Trundle can take the fights now. Yeah, with that divine, it just massive it, power spike. It, it makes Trundle here for two hundred and does massive damage. Yeah, and heals him for a great chunk. Yeah, yeah, these first item power spikes have been huge for Baron between Divine Sunder and that oh, like just we saw a second ago, that Blade of the Ruined Olaf King. Oh, oh my. I, okay. Did he I like, think So the main reason the main reason why he lost that it was because he didn't have ult. Right. Mm. It's stat checked by the Olaf. Yeah, you need ult in order to kill that Olaf or Olaf wins. So that's the matchup. Hmm, yeah. Um, yeah. Jeez. What we also, though, saw from Twitch, that Blade of the Rune King, that's such a fantastic rush buy for Twitch. Because of that, he can trade with Sivir with Yumi on her so well. Yeah. Like, all he needs to land is three autos. 
think they know the Lily is trying to look bot, but with the vision. Oh, there's a Kali though a too. Control. A Kali is bot. That's Ooh. a poor man Kali's bot wrapping gang. around. They do see her. This is but here she comes. There's the Yumio, but it doesn't actually doesn't actually manage to land oh. on Twitch. Twitch gets the kill on Twitch Sivir. Lens. Looking to do something there, but looks like. Fiddle, oh, here comes Fiddle! Oh, oh wow, Lilia, Lilia, all that moves to manage to get away. Nice stopwatch from um, Jana. Manages to save her from Akali. Akali Fiddle. could win this. She could. She has oh no, he canceled oh. the W! Oh, he, he barely managed to survive thanks to Jana, but I don't know if Jana's gonna be so lucky. There's the bowling ball. Nice sidestep and the speed boost from the scuttle. Manages to get them out. That, At the end of that, I think it was a... It was a one for one. one. Yeah. So that could have been much worse, to be fair. Yeah. With a 4v2. However, with yeah. Rift Herald coming by, thanks to Azir sticking mid and pushing, the blue side doesn't even get first tower. And, and... Well, actually, they did get first tower because of Olaf earlier. Never mind. Um, <laughs> so they get bot tower, but Trundle also takes top. Yeah, which is pretty nice. Yeah, they traded bot in mid tower here. Which so honestly, it's... you take it for red team. For tat? Yeah, pretty good here. Pretty yeah. Yeah, if we go purely by like net worth, I think Baron got more out of that. Yeah, for sure. That mid tower opens up uh, a lot of a opportunities lot for red of... team. Absolutely, a lot of plays for the fiddlesticks here with that tower exactly. on, being able to move between the enemy jungles. Speaking of, he did the thing, but this time in the enemy jungle, <laughs> he, he did, did the cool thing. Out. And here he is on. However, you gotta be careful that oh, Ragnarok from Olaf. Ooh, there's the Zanyas with the Zero and Trundle right there backing him up. That could have been terrifying. If o if Olaf got that shutdown on Fiddle, that could have been like the game. <laughs> like yeah, for sure, that could be. Buying that, that stopwatch was very smart. And oh, hey, to be full guy. buys the Zanyas. Yeah. To both of you and to Twitch the chat, you have lost the game. So, one, another thing to note, Akali right now is in the best position. Like, she will not... Right now, she needs to make plays. If she doesn't, she will fall behind. Yeah. Like, so, she is at her strongest at this moment. Yeah, so like a minute ago, she got that double pick bot lane, which was really huge. If she could accelerate that lead, um, that's basically the hope that blue team has currently. Okay, we see a TP coming here for the Zir. They really, Bear really wants to fight this dragon. Okay, good poke by the Zir. Off his top lane, trying to also TP his Zir. Blue team should get this. And they do. Okay. It's two dragons for Baron. And Ocean Soul. That would be fantastic for for a Baron side. Trundle, Twitch, Fiddle, they would adore actually getting that soul. Oh man. <laughs> thanks to the Jana ult. Wow, thanks to the Jana ult. Um little, uh what's her name? What's the deer? Lilia. Uh, Lilia. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Lilia's W actually couldn't make it to Twitch. Forcing Yumi to take the kill. And thanks to the fantastic ult in from Fiddle. That is both... That is a double kill for Trundle. I think that was a 4v5 uh, for Red Team. And they got 4 kills? 5 kills? That was an ace. An wow. Ace. So that's that's a dominance goal swing. Yeah. Six K gold lead for Baron. <laughs> Just yeah. you're gonna watch me take your Krugs. Yeah, blue team is in a rough position now. There's the oh no, there's the bowling ball though. Has to flash to get out of there. And the Emperor's divide just for safety. Yeah. Seeing better, them seeing them mold safe. around the wall, like that's funny. Yeah. Yeah, so red team is in uh, a lot of control right now. I, w I suspect once they're back on the map, they're going to start invading, getting more of that vision. 
control and potentially uh, starting up Baron. So we'll have to see what happens. But I suspect aggression to come out from red team. Absolutely. They are just, especially with their lineup, they are just getting stronger the longer the game goes. So there's no reason to not get more mm -hmm. aggressive along with that. Yeah. Yeah, they want to bleed out uh, the blue team's resources. <clears throat> Here they come. They're going into jungle, forcing out the bird. Lily is able to get it. It's like they're also yeah, the just moving... Their uh, dragon set up for another two minutes, partially probably just to help cover Azir. Oh, just in case. Out here. oh yeah, there's the. the Ooh, there's there's Yumi ult though, like we were talking about. One of the only things that might be able to slow down Fiddle, but Lily is already gone. There's a Kali ulting on to Fiddle. Nice Zonya's. Olaf spending all his time on to. Oh, there's the shutdown for a Kali. Emperor's Divide gets Olaf. Pretty good uh, play by red team, three for two. Yeah, but that shutdown getting on Kali is going to keep yeah. her in the game. Yeah. Yeah, she has two items now, which is really nice. Because of that skirmish, that potentially opens up two towers for red team. <laughs> I don't know if exhaust actually lowers damage to towers. <laughs> I don't Pro believe it does. Not sure. Overall, a really good play by Red Team. Absolutely. Ooh, that okay, could have been bad. Man. Then now, um, Azir honestly, has a dark seal. <laughs> he wants. He wants a Magi. He's sure. feeling himself. He wants the book. He's feeling it, Mr. Krabs. Yeah. Okay, so if the resets come in, and I suspect that red team is gonna set up, Trundle gets that, a bork too. Uh, set up around that dragon with 50 seconds. Um, and I, I don't suspect blue team to contest. They might. It could be desperation, though. So, right. We'll have to see. Yeah, blue team is in a rough spot. They they're 10 k gold down, 10k down. Um, so, they're at the mercy of Red Team. They really are. They really just need to look for Baron here to slip up, try to capitalize on it, but I think we're just in that situation again where Blue Team does not have the damage to do it. Right, like, yeah. even if even if there is, I think the, on, the only scary members of Blue Team are Akali and Olaf. Yeah, if they can't carry, it's, it's pretty rough. Yeah. Now Trundle is split, splitting top of TP. Right, Blue so if anything bad does that. happen. Meanwhile, Azir's gonna looks like try and keep a lot of blue side occupied, while the rest of Baron just does the dragon. Yeah, it's just so hard for Blue Team to walk into that jungle with no vision. Absolutely. Okay, Akali goes in. Goes misses in the E. Janna. Oh yeah, misses the E on Janna. Which gets picked Ooh, out. Siver gets the shutdown. Our team gets dragon. Here comes Trundle. Wait. Honestly. Oh, the, the t okay. Not somehow Twitch. Somehow Twitch got. Uh, I think the tower shot killed her. Killed Lilia. Yeah. Twitch got credit for it. Yeah, I think. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> That's just Locked another right kill. Place. Thanks for the Dark Seal stacks, buddy. Oh yeah, he's so happy. And the third secondary tower. Yeah. That leaves so much freedom for Baron. Blue side has to respond to some of these minion waves coming in and to Azir. Meanwhile, Fiddle and Trundle are just gonna take Baron. Yeah, with bot with blue team's bot lane showing bot. They will, Lilia is starting to walk into the top jungle though, so they gotta be fast with this, but I think, yeah, they can make it. 
I don't think they suspect them to be a Baron, and if they are, no. they're so far down, they can't Baron. contest. Yeah. Lone cat. Lone cat. Yeah. <laughs> now that now that red team has Baron, Isis, they're just gonna make a march just down mid lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they can afford to just ARAM this. Yeah, they could probably close it out in the next couple of minutes, I suspect. Not only do they have not only is Azir three levels up on Akali, he's already level 17, he already has three items. Yeah, he's been 10 CS per minute, so he's he's very comfortable. He's he incredibly cooling. Yeah, he will, he stabs you a couple times and you're dead. Hmm. He doesn't even have to stab you, he Flash summons Alka guys Lilia. to stab you. Nice sleep. But here comes Fiddle for the turnaround. Dude managed to get Twitch, but Too again, Twitch isn't really the scary part of this team anymore. Yeah, blue team, desperation play, they're too far behind. Yeah. Twitch Twitch did a lot to keep um, Baron in the game early. Like, like to help soften the blow of some of these more scaling characters. Not saying that Twitch doesn't scale like a monster himself, but he's, he's not the issue anymore. <laughs> it's these three. Yeah, yeah those Xenor just scaled. It's these three monster boys. And that should be game. Yeah, it's Over Trundle. Here. That is just goodbye towers. It's Trundle with the Blade of the Rune King. He has a billion attack speed. Don't believe what the number says. <laughs> Cave your skull in at the speed of light. <laughs> oh, Lillian might be caught out here. Oh no. Poor dear. Oh, poor poor dear. dear. Sipper and Yumi Bye. trying to come help, but. Yeah, Lily tries to farm her jungle camps but gets punished 15k for it. gold lead by Baron. Yeah, it's such a point where it's just bullying where it's like, no, you don't get to take your own jungle anymore. This is actually our jungle. Yeah. You see, comrade. You just this don't know it yet. Now. We we've already taken your jungle. We just haven't like claimed it yet. We've yeah. claimed it, we have to take it. Right. Oh here comes a collie trying to trying to trying to leave, trying to run. <laughs> Good try. Chomp. And <laughs> insult to injury. Here comes the crow storm. Uh -huh. End the game. You gotta save him. Ah. Uh... Ah, uh, he was deathless until that. Yeah. Could have got a stack of his unkillable demon king. <laughs> mm. But another just fantastic. Another fantastic win for Baron Just team. Just dominating game by Baron. Wasn't even a whole lot to okay. analyze there. It was just devastation. It was just victory. Okay. <clears throat> Still going? It would seem so. So, Xander's team's currently spectating, so we go to Galactic Narwhal and the rest of them. They're 12 minutes into a game, so let's hop in and see how they're doing. If you guys also, don't. Uh, um, I, I, have to, I have to leave right now, so... Oh, that's yeah, okay, getting late for me. Thank you so much for joining for us, Abdullah. Yeah, you guys take care. You as well. Okay. You too. Mm -hmm. Alright, goodbye. See you. Bye-bye. <laughs> So you got to restart your client then, Luke? Yep, restarting it now. Okie doke. I am going to load in if you have Galact Galactic Narwhal up. Or... I do. Okay, perfect. I have him friended. Perfect. think, yeah, we could, we could just jump into the 12 minutes that have already 
or probably like 13 by the time we load into this, have uh, transcribed in this game. I think I could do one or two more, because they seem to be ready to go all night, but it's already almost midnight. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, I don't know if you knew, but uh, so it's <laughs> Narwhal, uh, Solo, Haxer, Zack Mid, and Cheese as the team as Team Shingard. Uh oh, singular Shingard. Explicitly because they thought it was funny. Um. Okay, so uh, I will for the people at home. Um, currently. It's a very interesting game already. Um, Baron is down by a kill, only by 0.3k gold. Um, there's. That would be 300, so they're down by. 1K. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. Let's see. Very interesting stuff. Ooh, nice all from the Ash, but can't really get a whole lot off of it. Um, this is such a weird top lane Malphite versus Urgot. Malphite has to be careful, actually, because Urgot, Fear Become Death is about to come up. He has it live. Fear Beyond Death, yeah. That's such a cool old name. <laughs> it was, it's just, it's so badass. Dude, it looks like this red uh, red side here actually has a more jungle who's popping Rift Hail than mid lane. Interesting choice with the more jungle. Very interesting. Uh, oh man, uh, Cheese and uh, Cheese and Zack almost managed to kill Shelly before she makes it. Mord gets ill. This is full tank Mord. Ew, cringe. He's building cringe. Frostfire. Why no Riftmaker? You always build Riftmaker. That's the law. No, disgusting. Far too easy. Cringe. <laughs> uh, look at this. Currently, the strongest member of Red Side by far is this. 3-0, it's Leah. Um, Yasuo Cheese is certainly down in kills, but he's not that far down at CS. Only 9. Not bad. Not bad. Are you Are you in the game now? I am in the game. I've been Sweet. In the game. Okay. Uh, that's that's a very weird visual. Actually, I've never seen that before in the spectator review. But Mord has, yeah, ulted Narwhal, who's 2 up. Uh, hacks are on Zayat, trying to keep up. Zack mid is trying to fight Talia, but she just does so much damage right now. She gets a kill on him. Oh, Haxer manages to get a kill on Mord as well. That was very, very rough tumble. Perfect for red side, two for one, especially with Dragon come up, coming up. It's okay. If we go by how things have been going, a Baron will start playing better. Ooh! The unstoppable force, the Malphite ult comes down onto Talia, and that gold goes to Haxer. Onto Zaya. Fantastic. Zaya scales like a freak. <laughs> late game Sky is late game Zaya is terrifying. Oh yeah. Absolutely. And thanks to that, it looks like Blue Side our Baron is gonna try and burn down the dragon. See, we are good luck charms. As soon as we join, things as start soon turning as we around. Join every single game. Man, they were worried about like I heard like, oh man, I'm gonna be so worried playing on stream. Nah, y'all play better on it. It's the pressure. Say the diamond quote Set again. I don't I'll remember. Say it, it again. <laughs> diamonds without pressure. Hell yeah. Volibear looking to be in trouble here, but getting out of that is that, But that bumper might manage to save him. Good stuff. Does get the Ash ult out. Uh-oh. Yasuo and Mord in the 1v1. Yeah, yeah there's the ult. Welcome to the 1v1 dimension, also known as Brazil. Welcome to Brazil. Yasuo oh, Yasuo barely actually barely managed to get away. There's Zack mid rated cover coming to cover for him as Malphite Solo is coming to uh, to gank the Mord, but he's, be a rock. He's, he actually walked away. I feel like he wins that. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> especially sucks. He's he's rotating mid. It's a good call trying to help his team, but because of that, the Urgot who he's pretty even with has managed to take his tower.
you have that small blunder cut up there. Those can build up over time. Easy for me to say, right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Talia just Ooh, you're gonna still up bot lane. Nice flash by Narwhal. Alongside the safety ult. Mm -hmm. However, if Talia has one thing, it's Ooh, range. Looking like a counter TP in here from Solo Strikes. Ooh. Getting the big Ooh, damage. Big here. ult, and here comes Zaya to follow it up. Ooh, getting the Janna, but dying for it there. Volley Bear becoming a bear, but getting hit with the fear Here's Urgot. Yep, fear beyond death. <laughs> Meanwhile, Yasuo oh, and Mord are fighting for, again. For Baron here. Mord. Baron oh, Mord has Baron. ghosted. Oh, Yone almost took him out. That was a very close fight. I think if he had ulted earlier, um, mm -hmm. he may have been able to win that. Actually, he doesn't. Wait, does Blade of the Rune King give you crit? It does not. It doesn't. So he doesn't actually have any crit right now. So never mind. Really? Yeah, no, he just has Blade of the Rune King. Oh, no. That's a very interesting choice. That is, um. I feel one like. One could even call it cringe. Yeah. I feel like, like the whole point of Yasu is that you don't really need that because you're inherently anti tank next to the passive on your ult. Or the, mm -hmm. the, the little buff you get on your ult. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting choice there. It's so weird. I need to finish it, but whenever I see Yasuo gameplay, it wants it makes me want to keep playing Ruined King. Mm. That's like that game is so fun. I never started that. I never actually got it. It's it's very good. It's uh like uh it's very unique combat actually, but it's very very it's still turn based, but it's like very interesting and very fun. Hmm. You can you could fit everyone into like everyone has a couple roles they could fit into and it's really really interesting. I would find a way to break it. I mean yeah no that's the fun part. The fun part so far is I I have this setup with a uh, Alawi MF and Yasuo, and I just have uh, MF and Yasuo built for crit and Alawi at the start of every single round Alawi taunts so she's the only one getting hit and Yasuo and MF just start stacking crit. <laughs> Uh, back to the game, though. I'm yeah, back to the actual Talia game. Um, it looks like this might be a second turret for Urgot. Understandable, it's scary for oh, Zaya to fight like him here, but if you're not going to fight him, just leave because he. Yeah, it has to Gale Force because of that. Mm -hmm. She has to dance with those arrows. But on the back of this, on the back of sending three people bot lane for the Urgot, they're taking a free Herald. Yeah, well, that's that's this and tries to head up, but gonna caught push this lead further for red side. Unlike most of their games, Baron is playing very, um, very reactively here. They not really getting the chance to be proactive, not which is where they really shine. At all. Really shine. Mm -hmm. Really shine. Yes. Mm. Whatever. Ooh, Shut up. Side seeing this bush wookie strat come in. Mm, they could have stacked up for that. Uh, but there's the there's the Ashy. Mm -hmm. They saw them go into that bush though because of the ward they had in Pixel Bush. <laughs> I think the Ashy could have actually blown an opportunity for Red Side here to kill them all while they were in the bush. Mm -hmm. A real big Talia combo there could have easily destroyed their entire team. But even Yasuo off the slip, it looks like the, Yo, yeah, the, Yasuo gets coming in late. taken out. Oh, big Malphite ult, though. A big bear coming in, but it's getting kited Two out alts for Zaya. Oh, Mordekaiser runs, runs a muck in the back line. Oh, no, that's going to be big. Him coming out there right on top of Zaya is huge. Mm -hmm. That is another bad fight. Four for two for the Baron team here. Things aren't looking so good here. Not really. This is not what we want to see. Because there's another rift that's going to be inner mid tower for red side. Mordekaiser mm -hmm. rotating top to see if they can also apply pressure on that turret. Maybe even just taking this jungle, but that's still huge for the volley bear. 
Fair as we fair. said earlier, being an early game champion that doesn't have that early lead, he's gonna struggle all game, and taking the farm is just the icing on the cake. Wow, looks like Baron is going Inside to try and sneak a Baron here. Just Baron pretty bold. For blue. However, oh, blue, sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, however, it. here comes Mord. Alt Yasuo again, who might actually be able to get away. Nice dodge on the EQ. Okay, actually, Mord stuck in the middle of the entirety of Baron. That's a big oh, shutdown no. onto Malphite. Oh, he misses the unstoppable force, though. They've got to be careful. If Urga can get a big out, fear oh, here off of Fear Beyond Death. Fear. Oh, oh no! That's a huge fear. Again. The shotgun needs are going to finish it off. Oh no, a triple oh, kill from no. Urga. That fight could have turned around the here, whole Michael. game it's for Baron. Again. It is. The four for two is just not worth it. No. Ugh. If Malphite could have landed that ult onto Ash and Janna, maybe it'd be a bit Either different. One, honestly. Whiffing that right into Urgot's arrival is the worst possible scenario. It is the bad ending. Red team now just being able to take this without any resistance from blue side here. Yeah, there's nothing they can really do. Axter's starting to, to move towards up. it, but there's nothing he can do to like stop them here. Mm -hmm. Baron really playing off the back foot here. The only chance that I believe they have is letting the Zaya and the Yasuo farm up and try to get a good ulti out of solo strikes here. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be their only but chance. they just cannot afford to fight. They simply cannot. Ghost coming out from Mordekaiser here with the Astral barely missing. Mordekaiser sending the bear to Brazil. It's a little bear in there. It's <laughs> just going to get one tap. Bears aren't native to Brazil. <laughs> oh, three levels down. Yeah, just no chance. However, top lane pushing to get that, try and get that objective bounty. Anything they can do to close this gap even a little bit. They're down 8k's money. This is a bad time. Yeah. You know, it may actually be in Blue's interest, best interest here, to let them take that in hit. Yeah. So they can start farming the siege, not siege, the super minions. But looks like they're just gonna tr try to defend it and give up this Drake. Because if they try to fight here, they're about to get bushwookied. Yep. The brush has eyes. Oh no, and here comes the. Oh no. No, Norwell. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, and this is a huge cutoff here. Here comes the Leah! Jeez, as well. Oh, no. Oh, that was so unfortunate. Mm, baby. Things are Delia's very gonna much back Rylai's Crystal Zepter as, as if it could be any harder to get away from Talia. You know, I was I was I was smack talking the board. He did build Nashers on Mord, which is inherently based, so he's kinda of bouncing out. It is entirely based. Yeah, again, like we were talking about. What a two second now? Yeah. This is like Volley is such an early game character, he relies so much on getting oh, ahead no, early. He's just gonna get run down here. Yeah. Oh, but Zaya coming up to try and save and forcing Talia Flash. 
full, but he tried to gale force on top of the D. Oh Another no, spot. the dash. Manchin survived the result, and here comes... Oh, that's a big shutdown. Wait, no it's not. She doesn't have a shutdown. <laughs> Oops. Not a shutdown at all. Not actually. even really that. Solo Strike's getting absolutely Has to use the unstoppable the force, but it's lives. not even going to be worth it because Ash is cringe. Oh my gosh. That's so... I've been there. That's so frustrating. You can't even run because she just mm -hmm. slows you. She did, in fact, click him once and walk and away. And he died. No, wait. She, she clicked him and then she queued when she clicked him four times? Mm, right, right, right. Des so so deserved, actually. <laughs> not, not to throw any shade. Actually, don't really have to apologize because, like, this isn't... And this isn't like a school, this is just some solo, not solo Q guy, but this is some random dude in League Clash. He is playing very well. <laughs> Talia has unsealed spell book. Mm -hmm. I didn't notice that. That's wild. She's doing all this without a keystone? That's crazy. Just goes to show this champion's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Absolutely. She's become my perma band in solo queue. Oh, she is very, very scary. I absolutely understand that. Ooh, here comes the Donald J. Talia. <laughs> and and just like him, that wall was incredibly ineffective and it fell really fast. Damn straight. <laughs> <laughs> Huge However, big unstoppable and force into the last breath of Yasuo, jumping over the wall with the Stormbringer, Urkat has to flash away. That's that's some nice extra gold for blue that's side, big. but... That's big. That is pretty big. They're still 10k down, and no objective up to, to really push off that. Oh, it's my favorite Ash player, Jerry Clampino. Bear getting this oh CC no, Janna left the just a second Q, too early. Another shutdown for Zaya. Uh, I don't think that Yasuo, I don't think Cheese needed to flash there. I think he wanted the kill. It's good that Zaya got it. Like it's better that he got it. But I don't I don't think the tornado was necessary. <laughs> well, okay, to be fair, Ash did not have all. Um mm -hmm. some nice damage some good on damage coming down on that Urgot. Unfortunately, I don't think it was worth the Yasuo Ignite. No. I think Cheese might be in a tilt here. I mean, he has not been having a great game. No, he's... He's a Yasuo and Natalia. He's not having fun. <laughs> he is what one would call getting countered. Smile. He would call this game many things. Fun is not one of them. <laughs> okay. Mountain Drake up in a minute. Both, Both teams, teams looking at this mountain Drake. <laughs> Both teams dodging that. Red wants the soul point. Blue wants to stop them from getting soul. <laughs> Do you want? Okay. Here, so there's my question there. That that Jana doesn't have a shutdown or anything. However, do you? Because Malphite's ult has such a low cooldown. Do you unstoppable force her anyway? Honestly, if you can catch them both with the Yasuo combo, absolutely. Oh, absolutely now. But it was that moment where he was just like, like, Jana was very clearly the in the range. I would have done it. I'm greedy, but like, I probably would have gone for it. Ooh, getting Talia Talia's flash, flash out there ghosting. is pretty nice. Yeah, wow, flash both are some. Try and catch the volley bear before this Drake comes up. Oh no, that's a Mord Bush. What? Zaya not having ult for this, or not having flash for this fight. Not very good. Janna getting picked by the. Here comes the, the unstoppable the force on Janna. Oh my, Mord does so much Brazil, damage. Small oh no. Ward has Absolute ghost. I think he's gonna. Oh, good route by Zaya. Back up to or that 10K Zyra. Gold lead. 
Zyra unable to outrun the ghosting Mordecai. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's Frostfire so mean on Mord. Oh no. Talia ulting into the base with Urgot TPing. This game is just over. Yeah, no, there's nothing they can do here. Mord, before he even death roped anybody, he, he e oh no. He EQ'd like three of Blue Side and just did a billion mm -hmm. damage. That would just be GG. That's gonna be it. They either stay hey, I, they're um, already. Wait a minute. They've already won three games, right? Oh no. I don't know. Red side might be greeting this a little. Going for the Yasuo there is uh, not the best decision. Mord is egoing it. I mean, he is 8 and 4. He's doing pretty well. He has a Randuins. He can turn off Yasuo with that Randuins. 11k gold lead here. Yeah. Yikes. Mordekaiser level 17. Three oh levels ahead of that man. Urgot's level 17 too. It's a game. Side taking the Baron has already taken the Baron. They're gonna look to put this game away now. Yeah, I don't see a world where Baron like no no shade to them, but like this game is too far gone. It is very too very gone. They're 12k gold down now. When oh, the bear getting caught out, he was not. Oh one. no. Malphite oh, trying to follow him no. up with that. That sub will force to no damage storm to put around though. Dead. Just cannot do enough damage. Get him. Jeez. Without their front line, Baron just falls here to the push. Oh, goodbye. There's the goodbye, wall Zyra. boxing Zyra in. Oh no. Yasuo in Brazil with the Mordekaiser. Coming out and getting blocked instantly. Jeez, La nice geez, last breath, but just no thing to do off of it. Nope. Final oh, gold loss of 15. 15k gold. That is just devastating. Kind of cringe, Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> as as much as I'd love to keep going, I am tired, and we are four games through. Um, so I think wait, I think we're okay to call it there. Yeah, I think we'll call it there. Um, but. So, this has been Panzer Brady Sports Clash Games. Uh, don't know how much we'll do this. I hope we go back to scrimmages because those are a bit more fun to me. Um, mm -hmm. but, I think this was just a, just a weekend thing. Yeah, yeah. Keeping us guessing is, is good. Keeping that... Uh, and get it, making sure Keeping you're not just playing here. against each other. Uh, once we, mm -hmm. We'll have plenty of scrimmages against other teams uh, in the year. But for now, uh, yeah. It's good to mix it up. But thank you for joining me, Luke. It's always fun to have you. Of course, thank you for having me. Absolutely, super fun. And to everyone out there watching, stay safe, be good to each other. And if you miss if you miss anything, feel free to catch us, uh, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, so you'll never miss a stream. And you can catch the vods of these streams here for the next fourteen days, or on our YouTube channel where you can see them permanently. Again. What's the YouTube channel name? Baron oh, Esports. Why? It would just happen to be the same as everything else. <laughs> it's Baron called Esports. Brand Consistency. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, thank you, everybody. Be safe, be good to each other, and have a good night. Bye-bye.